Golly, it's tough coming out of that locker room right now. There's obviously a lot of a lot of tears and uh, some great great kids in that on that team. Um, you know, we um, it just stings because we were so close. You know, gosh. But uh, I'm really proud of uh, our team. I'm proud of El Paso. Uh, these three seniors have been phenomenal. Um, and um, just, and I'm so proud of El Paso. Uh, and what's happened in these two weeks has been amazing. It's been, um, it's been just incredible. And it's something that you know we're always gonna we're gonna remember forever. And uh, they're winners. This city is winners. And uh, the enthusiasm and uh, the spirit that we had in the Haskins Center is just. Can't even put a word on it. It's just been that amazing. So, you know, we're disappointed that we came up short. And golly, we, you know, Rutgers has a really good defensive team. Um, they have a really good defensive team, and um, we really struggled the first half scoring. Uh, I think our defensive, what we changed and did in the second half, kind of took them out of their offense. Um, but we just didn't have enough on the offensive end to get it done. You know, we came up, we, if you, you know, you got 56 points, that's pretty good. You know, they, they scored 56. The problem is we just, we just couldn't, uh, we couldn't get uh, enough couple of baskets. So, uh, tough day on the offensive side, but really proud of our team. We fought and played hard and there's uh, nothing but for us to hold our heads up and, and enjoy this moment and memory that we've had with one another. Did you feel that last 96 feet skate point? Did you feel at the end you had some decent defense, right? The horse or shoot over Christine? I thought our second half defense was pretty good. I mean, we, you know, the half court trap, I think, bothered them. The crowd was great. And, um, you know, I just think we probably had some turnovers that hurt us. 19, um, some missed shots. You know, we could we didn't get a stop on that last stretch going down. You know, they drove it. I, you know, I probably wish I, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I'm thinking, God, I wish I would call timeout. You know, after the basket. Well, yeah. Um, it happened pretty darn quick though. We scored it and they grabbed the ball and quicked out it. So I mean, it's it's uh, really wasn't enough time to even do that. But you know, of course, after the play, you're thinking that. But it was really fast. They're fast, and um, we just needed to get a stop there. You know, stop the ball and. and Skate did a great job getting all the way, you know, down. So just some worries that you're going to foul. No, I just think we, you know, we just did it. We got the offensive rebound, and we were kind of all, we weren't. The shot went up, so our safeties were getting back, and Parker put it in, and you know, they could, they just took it out quickly, and so we tried to match up. She just went by us. I mean, we just didn't stop the ball. I know that was worried about fouling. We just blew by us. <laughs> so she was pretty good in the second half. Yeah, she's a really good player. I mean, she's. She's a special player. Coach, what did you say to your team in the second half? The first half, it looked like the players were just out of it looking for a whistle in every possession. It just kind of, it looks like their minds were taken out of those first 15 minutes of the ball game. Uh, at halftime, I, I really challenged. I told them, I said, you know, okay, it's a physical game. Uh, right now, we're not playing physical and we're whining and, you know, we need to, I couldn't really tell you what I said, but we, Basically, we need to suck it up and we need to go down blazing. I told them right now, we're playing scared, we're playing tinny. I'm like, let's go down fighting and let's not be scared and let's be aggressive and let's attack. And, you know, and I thought we played a lot. And I said, I'll take care of the officials. You guys focus on playing because we were whining and crying a little bit. And you feel that obviously the team answered the bell in the second half with the performance they gave? Yeah, I thought we were, I, you know, we went to the half court trap. I thought we were a lot more aggressive the second half and it was better. We struggled offensively today, but that's also a credit to their defense. They're long, they're athletic, and you don't get many easy. And I've watched a ton of film on them, and they're 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 a very consistent, good defensive team. So after the game, coach, you had a, a nice moment with Kayla. What did you say to her after the game? I just told her I was so proud of her, and and that uh, you know everything that we've done this, this last two weeks, it surpassed anything that I could ever imagine what we've experienced these past two weeks, and that you know. She's been a warrior for us, and I'm just extremely proud of her. She had some really nice words to the team, too. She, you know, Kayla's one competitive person. I mean, her competitiveness is 
really helped this program for four years. Coach, for you, the journey started for this tournament against Arkansas State, comes up just short, but kind of can you just tell us what this experience of postseason basketball is like for you? You know, I, I think uh, for me, uh, you know, a couple things. I, I really enjoyed watching our players. I think they, they had fun. We were enjoying this tournament. Uh, we didn't really ever get uh, into this thing where we felt pressure. Um, you know, I tried to approach it in a way where I'm going, hey, this is all our hard work all year, what we've done, the reward is what we're doing, let's go enjoy it. And I think, you know, I think we played some pretty good ball and, and our approach was really good and the kids had fun. And then all of our fans have been having fun. I mean, what's been going on in this arena has been magical. And um, so, you know, for me, I've got a lot of joy because I've watched everybody enjoying all of this. And so that's been really awesome, um, something I'm going to treasure forever. And with a game that we just saw, what do you think it does for Conference USA, the, the outlook people have about it, after seeing what the girls did tonight? Well, we went through two Pac-12 schools and uh, came close on, you know, a very good program in Rutgers. So, you know, our conference is a really good conference. And uh, we were prepared for this because we played some really good teams. Um, what do you think this season means for the university and the community? I thought it brought us together, you know, and I and I, I think probably one of the things that I love most about it is we I saw a lot of young kids at this game, a lot of little boys, little girls, a lot of moms and dads, families, a lot of kids, and I think it's great that those kids have are, have been exposed to UTEP. They've been exposed to a great college athletic atmosphere. Now there's going to be a lot of kids dreaming about playing college sports someday and. Um, I just think that it's been, um, that's been really good. And we've had a lot of uh, people that have never came to a basketball, women's basketball game that have, that I think are now excited and now see women's basketball in a different way. So, you know, I think it'll, it'll help us with uh, more fans next year. Thanks.